This week on Burn Grills. I'll be showing you how to survive in a typical English garden. I'll be showing you all the hazards of the garden and ways to survive. By building fires, catching your own food, and when times are hard, doing the unthinkable. This is my most challenging adventure yet. When I get out alive, this is Surviving the English Garden. I'm now entered the garden safely, and as you can see, from all this green foliage, it can mean only one thing. Rain. In this extreme environment, up to an inch of rain can fall in a day. But our first priority is to build a shelter, set up camp. When looking for a suitable camp, there are three things you need to consider. Location, location, location. Working through terrain like this can really take it out of you. It's vital you get to your camp, find something to eat, and restore all the energy you're using. This grass down here, about three inches long, can cause severe friction on the boots and really burn down the energy resources you need for survival. Let's go. Shit. You all right? You all right? Yep. Come up. Come on this way. Poo. Nature's raisins. Desperate times call for desperate measures. When our energy balances are running low, this could be the difference between life or death. Give you the vital nutrients you need to restore your energy balance. It's warm. Making sure you choose a moist poo is vital. It could contain valuable fluids that could keep you hydrated. If you choose a dry poo, there will be no goodness and you're basically eating a powdery poo. Let's take some. It's a good idea to take some food with you, as you never know where your next meal is going to come from. All my energy now restored, it's time to go find camp. Stay close. Look here. This is an ideal place to build our shelter. We've got protection here from the fence, stop the harsh winds coming in, and shelter here from the overgrown bush, protects us from the rain. What we need to do is get a base layer on the floor here. Keep us off the ground and insulate us from the, the cold, harsh floor. But yeah, this looks a brilliant place to set up camp. It's just enough room. Fit a body. What we need to do now is line the floor and we'll have our camp. Right, let's go. Oh. You right? Wait, wait. Come on. Come here, come here. You see this here? This bush is called the Murius Maximus. These little plants here, and this is slow poison. If you just brush past, brush past them, you could be dead in days. And all these old leaves, perfect for insulating us from the cold ground. Just going to line, line all the bed in here. <coughs> Keep our core, body what temperature warm, keeping us off the ground and elevated. Right, now we've built a camp. The next thing to do is build a fire. Just send the cameraman off. They're going to get some more twigs. As he does, I'm going to prepare the fire for his return. We're going to set the fire quite close to our bed. I'm going to use this as a reflector. The type of fire we're going to use is a TP fire. The way these work, you set it at the top, and as we all know, fire burns downwards. As you can see, I'm building it into kind of like a teepee shape, the same as the ancient Indians used to use for their shelters. These type of fires are ideal for cooking your food. So once we build it, we're going to go on to hunt for some food. I'm going to set up a few traps before the darkness sets in. Now ideally when camping, you want to be as inconspicuous as possible, so you don't draw attention to yourself from unwanted animals and predators. 
Man's just come back with the wood. We're using fresh wood, freshly baked off the trees, full of water, green leaves, still alive, best type of wood. As we all know, to create a good fire, you need H, 2 and O. I'm going to break this up and use this as the last bit of hot for our fire. As you can see, there's lots of greenery around it to keep this fire un under control. To light this fire, I'm going to use an ancient method I learned from my time spent with the brownies. It does take time. Got a fire burning. It's now time to get some food.